There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Through painstaking work and collaboration, Western pharmaceutical companies have managed to produce safe and effective vaccines in record time. Access to vaccines will help jumpstart our economy and ensure that Main Street can finally start breathing a sigh of relief. Plusieurs pays voient enfin le bout de tunnel. Des vaccins ont été développés dans un temps record et de nombreux pas ont préparé un plan de vaccination. The United States is planning to have 100 million people vaccinated by the end of February and its entire population vaccinated by June. The United Kingdom is starting their vaccinations next week and France is rolling out a national vaccine plan for most of their country between April and June. But Canada is nowhere to be seen. Just this past week, the Prime Minister and two of his senior ministers were proud to announce a vaccine deployment date. The problem? They were each confidently talking about different dates. These mixed signals from the very top of the federal government have real-world implications, both for the rollout of the vaccine and for the well-being of Canadians. Let me be clear. We know the end game. While our neighbours to the south will be revving up their economy again, Canadians will be told to keep waiting. While restaurants across Europe spring back to life, Canadian businesses will be told to get on the Serb or bust. And while seniors in the UK will be free to see their grandchildren again, Canadian families will have to continue to see theirs through Zoom or FaceTime. Justin Trudeau has set September as a possible vaccination objective. Just think about that. Ten more months of business closures, of limitations, rising mental health issues, domestic violence, drug abuse. We all have learned the tragic costs of a shuttered economy. Alors que des pays entiers vont sortir du confinement, les Canadiens vont les regarder avec incompréhension. Pourquoi sommes-nous si en retard? Il y aura de l'incertitude au Canada. Notre économie va continuer à souffrir alors que nos voisins vont repartir en force. Et surtout, des Canadiens vont devoir continuer à accompagner leurs familles à l'hôpital et craindre pour leur santé. C'est profondément injuste. Pourquoi en sommes-nous là? This is unacceptable. Why are we so late? What happened? Simply put, incompetence. After all, we know about communist China. In the spring, when journalists and the opposition challenged the liberals on China's data, they accused us of spreading misinformation. All of our issues were factual, and all have been confirmed. Now they are doing this again when we challenged them on the failed Can Sino deal, and they're confused and delayed information on vaccines. This incompetence is alarming. But their de denial and redirection is even more concerning. As was to be expected, Chinese officials likely benefited from early Canadian advances in vaccine research. And when the time came to ship samples to Canada, China broke off relations. After months of putting all of our eggs in the China basket, the government was left out to dry. And then, after this catastrophe, the government still took its time. When this government scrambled to catch up after their joint venture with China failed, it was already too late. Ce gouvernement a été naïf, et tous les Canadiens ont payé le prix aujourd'hui. Justin Trudeau a insisté pour travailler avec la Chine, alors que nous savons tout ce que ce pays ne veut pas notre bien. Le résultat est que vous et votre famille n'aurez pas un vaccin avant dix longs mois. Sans un plan pour les vaccins, nos entreprises n'auront pas la confiance de réinvestir dans l'économie. Et la frontière avec les États-Unis risque de rester fermée à cause de l'incompétence des libéraux. Canada now finds itself delayed and behind most other G7 countries and nations with a total population of 2.7 billion people. Will all of these people receive vaccines before all of Canada has the opportunity? 
In the G20, Canada seems to be the only one with no clear plan for vaccine distribution. Without a concrete timeline for vaccines, businesses won't have the confidence to reinvest in their operations, to rehire Canadians who've been laid off during the pandemic. Without a reliable timeline or details, provinces have the impossible task of establishing complex supply chains with no lead time, without knowing when they can expect a vaccine delivery. Simply put, Canada still has no plan for receiving and distributing a vaccine. And without a plan for vaccines, there is no plan to fully reopen the economy. Justin Trudeau and his government has failed, and he's setting up the provinces to fail too, through his China delays, secrecy, and incompetence. Today, the Conservatives are putting forward an important motion because Canadians deserve certainty, clarity, and competence. Notre parti présente une motion qui va demander de la clarté et un plan à ce gouvernement. Il est temps de protéger les Canadiens. We are asking the Liberals to put the health and safety of Canadians first by sharing how each type of vaccine will be safely delivered to Canada, stored, and distributed. Canadians deserve to know the date on which each vaccine type will first be deployed in Canada and the rate of vaccinations anticipated by month. As for a plan, provinces and health partners across the country need to know any intended federal guidance with respect to the deployment of the vaccine by priority group, such as frontline health workers and seniors. Canadians deserve to know the plan for the distribution of vaccine to Indigenous Canadians, members of the Canadian Armed Forces and their families, and veterans, each of which fall under federal health jurisdiction. This is common sense. In the middle of this historic health crisis, this government should not be operating behind closed doors. Before Christmas, Canadians deserve the hope the hope that will come with a plan to roll out a vaccine to help us turn the quarter in COVID-19 in the new year. Thank you. Merci beaucoup.